Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Mwindi. So I currently run two businesses and one NGO. The two businesses provide therapy services and one the NGO provides free therapy services. I have been in the industry for the last five years in terms of running and owning a business, 11 in terms of practice as a professional. In my video today, I want to share some of the experiences that I've been ha having as a business owner and this I share from my journey to be able to help you gain some information, gain inspiration, avoid some pitfalls and also shorten the duration of time that it, help, it takes you to get to, for example, where I'm getting to as a business owner and also to surpass where I'm getting to as a business owner. So my tip number one is that you need to understand the needs of your business and the needs of your team. So you need to understand the people that you're actually working with. How do they operate? What are their strengths? What do they need? What is keeping them up at night so that if you're able to solve some of those concerns, it improves the ability to be productive at your at the workplace, at your business. So understand the team. Also understand what does your business need in the, in the present. So of course, every business needs capital. It needs money, but that's not the only thing. Sometimes you may need a mentorship from somebody who's 10 times where you are today. Sometimes you might need support in terms of advice for decision making. So you need to understand where, what level is your business at right now and what do you need at that level. And just accept you're growing. So your capital needs today will not be the same needs you'll have maybe three years in the market. So understand that, adapt with it and grow. Lastly, know your numbers. You need to know, first of all, what's your revenue, for example, how much profit are you making? How much sales are you making? How many clients are you serving if you're in the service industry? If you're selling, how many products are you selling on the daily, on the weekly, on the monthly? So you need to do a lot of due diligence internally to understand the numbers in your business and if you have been here before you've watched a video that i've already done on some tips on how to understand and do this especially when you're setting out some of the tips i shared was simplify the process document everything and they're really really critical and this helps you even with the numbers as well so that has been my experience so far as a leader as a business owner and i'm gonna keep sharing my experience with you so that it helps you, it inspires you, it encourages you. And lastly, I'm documenting my milestones. So one day I'm gonna come back and watch this video and be so surprised at how much I have grown. If you have liked this video, like it, press that like button. If you have a question, leave it in the comment section. If this video has made you smile or has encouraged you or has inspired you, share it with somebody. Lastly, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you again very, very, very soon.